Well, if you live in a high-rise building, you've probably at least wondered how you would get out of there if there was a fire. Those fears became all too real for thousands of Americans. On September 11th, many were trapped in the World Trade Center towers as the floors below them burned. Well, now inventors are working on new technology to help people get out alive. Ari Adzer has a look at one invention. Go ahead, step up. And down he goes. Looks simple, and it is. The Recover All high-rise evacuation system being tested on this day by firefighters. I think this is impressive. It it's, looks pretty easy to set up. It's easy to use. It's hand-free operation. It's self-contained. Uh, I think it'll work. Our equipment was designed specifically to be used by senior citizens, by children. That's why we chose a device that is fully automatic in, in operation. That's why we enclosed the victim inside a full coverage suit which eliminates the fear of heights. The first step for evacuation is putting on the big suit. Kind of makes you look like a baked potato, but this actually protects you from heat and flames if you're in a real fire situation. The firefighters let us go for a test ride. Picture one of these machines on your condo balcony ready to use or in your high-rise office stored away for an emergency. It buys you the time to escape. We are six floors up. Once you push back and let go, the machine lowers you gently to the ground at the rate of three feet per second. The ride is smooth all the way down. You never speed up, you never slow down. It keeps you at that same rate all the way down to the ground. So the obvious question on everyone's mind is, would this system have made any difference in the World Trade Center disaster? My personal opinion is this would have saved some people up there, absolutely. This cable, they said, is effective up to a thousand feet. That's a hundred floors. Lieutenant Mike Nugent was there, part of the South Florida rescue team working at Ground Zero, part of a team that discovered five dead firefighters in the rubble. We took it and we made it positive because we were able to find five people. That means that their family has a closure now. Nugent says he's haunted by the video and pictures, thinking of all the people trapped by fire in those buildings. All right, tuck your feet underneath you. Equipment like this could have made a difference in New York, not enough to save everyone, but probably enough to save a few hundred lives. In Davie, our Riyadzer, NBC6. The Recover All suits are manufactured of heavy-duty aramid fiber, the same fiber used to protect firefighters, race car drivers, and astronauts from flames and heat. The suits are oversized to fully enclose the user, protecting them from heat, smoke, and flame. Users say that the recovery suit produces a blinder effect, which reduces a common fear of heights and creates a secure, comfortable ride to safety. Real smooth and uh, it's a comfortable ride. No and, fear of tipping. Uh, no fear of tipping. It seemed very, very, very stable. The operation of the system is simplicity itself. Don the suit, step over the railing, and release. The system does all the work. The standard recovery suit is significantly oversized to allow a mother and child or a senior citizen with poodles in tow to stay together during the rescue. It's a very good system. It seems like it's uh, not only a fast system, very safe. We've had a couple of people go down that's never done it before, and one lady, she felt very comfortable, very secure, and uh, to me it's a perfect way to get out of a building if your exits are blocked and there's no other way to get out. The descent device automatically lowers the user at three feet per second. The trip to safety from 20 floors up takes just 60 seconds, and during high-rise fire emergencies, seconds count. I think it's terrific. Yeah. And it, you know, I, did, I wasn't claustrophobic or anything. Uh -huh. I think because you could, I mean, you know, this is open, so. Right. And it just, I was wonderful. Felt real secure? Yes, very much so. There's absolutely no sense of being at height. I mean, you just you just don't feel like you're up high in the air. I think the fact that you're completely cocooned, that you can't see out, also uh, helps and it make, just makes it a lot more comfortable in, in coming down because you don't have that that fear of falling. You feel very secure, and uh, it was a it was a fun trip. Save you from a burning building, but what does this new, possibly life-saving device have to do with a big pair of oversized overalls? This is a story you'll see only on NBC6, and Julia Yarbo has it for us. 1991, a 12-story high-rise goes up in flames in Manhattan. 1997, fire crews rush to a Miami Beach tower housing hundreds. 
In Oakland Park, flames rip through a condo. Residents are forced to evacuate. In these cases, no one was hurt. However, smoke conditions are, are getting worse and you're just cut off. People get in a panic and people will jump out. Enter the newest technology fire rescue teams hope to use to try and save lives. We can move equipment with this, we can move manpower, we can move victims. Crews place an anchor device on the ledge. It takes about two minutes. A controlled descent device is also in place. Then the evacuee uses an item appropriately named the recoverall. The item which actually helps get you to the ground safely is this oversized flame retardant Kevlar suit. You slide into it just like you would a pair of overalls. Put your arms through the holes and then you're ready to go. This makes rescue operations easier to do because it can be accomplished with less manpower. But it's a very smooth ride down. Robert Kirkland came up with this idea after his own brother was trapped in a burning high-rise. Typical ladder trucks uh, are effective up to about seven or eight floors in a building. Our technology is designed to provide the tenants that live above the reach with ladders with an immediate means of escape. We're talking about trying to save your life and it works. The cost for the recoverall system, anywhere from $1,800 to $5,000, depending on how sophisticated a device is purchased. The Broward County Fire Rescue Team has right now applied for a grant to be able to purchase those items for our area. The inventor says they would be most likely used in high-rise condos, office buildings, nursing homes, and hospitals. In Hallandale Beach, Julia Yarbo, NBC6. The Broward County Fire Department is currently looking for grants to pay for the recoveralls. The price can reach up to the thousands of dollars, as she said, depending on how sophisticated you want to get. Right. Sounds like a great idea, though.